Matt, we're looking at some stocks that are up today. What do you got? Uh, let's start off the top here with Zillow. Uh, when I last checked it, it was up about uh, three, three and a half percent, we'll say. I, I think it's actually up more right now. Uh, so I was looking, the, the, the closest thing I could find to maybe driving the, the stock today was there's a press release about Zillow Digs. Uh, it's Zillow's home improvement uh, site, which launched three months ago. Uh, they were saying that uh, home improvement professionals and consumers have added 34,000 photos and created 93,000 Zillow Digs boards. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I'm kind of looking at this and, and thinking, is this really driving the stock? I know you're a shareholder. Uh, does this sound on target for you? What else could be going on today? I don't, I don't think it's the Digs. It's a nice <laughs> little side project that they have going on, but I don't think that's what's driving the stock. We saw when they reported earnings, they disappointed some investors and the stock traded lower. And it's actually had a pattern of Much doing- Much lower, if I remember correctly. 10% or so. You're it, trying to block that out, aren't you? It's, it's had this pattern of doing this, though. It trades lower and then it kind of slowly makes its way back. Uh -huh. So I'll give you the three points of mine, why I'm invested in Zillow okay. and why I think it's a, good, it's a good business for the long run. So first of all, the mortgage business and buying a house, the whole process, I mean, that is ripe for disruption. It's a pain. You got all these real estate agents. No, nothing's organized. You can't see everything in one place. So Zillow is, so that's the first thing, it's, it's prime for disruption. The second thing is Zillow's the main brand name in that when people think about trying to go find a house online, most people think about Zillow first. But I think uh, the CEO said in the recent conference call that nine out of 10 people still don't know the Zillow name. Okay. So that's a huge opportunity there. And the third thing is the CEO, Spencer Raskoff. He's, he understands the business, he's committed to it. He's, he's very, very focused on this company for the long term. He's a long term guy. He's, he's not worried about this quarter, next quarter. He's looking five, 10 years. That's what, that's what he wants to see the business. Okay, grow. well, there's no question that you are bullish <laughs> on Zillow there. Uh, so moving on, we've got Fortress Investment Group. Uh, this was up about uh, 4%. This is the, the head, hedge fund and private equity manager, up about 4% when I was looking. Uh, again, couldn't find really specific uh, driver here. However, however uh, Michael Novogratz, who is a principal and board member at Fortress, he was on CNBC today. Uh, he wasn't making specific comments or the highlighted comments weren't specifically about Fortress, but he was generally bullish on the market until the Fed starts to pull out its uh, accommodation. Uh, this could be sort of a, a build on the uh, Tepper rally from yesterday when Appaloosa's uh, Tepper was on CNBC and that really sparked financials. Uh, finally, we've got uh, Citigroup up a little over 1% on a day when, when the rest of the market isn't doing so well. Citi announced that uh, it's selling its Brazil consumer finance business. Now, uh, I should point out that this isn't its uh, it's Brazil on the ground mm -hmm. branch uh, network. This is the consumer finance business, business the, the credit card business, um, and they're going to be booking a $300 million gain on sale here. And this kind of continues the process of Citi sort of rationalizing its, uh, its international operations. I know you're bullish on Citi. Does this make you more bullish? I mean, it's kind of just another feather in their hat there. They have all these businesses. They're spanned all over the world. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they can go down a list and say, do we really want to be in this business? Does it make sense for us to be there? And you got to trust them. If they don't think they should be in the business, they probably shouldn't. All right, great. Moving on.